Hello, my name is Reed Hepler. I am the CSI Library Digital Initiatives and Open Educational Resources Librarian. Today, I'm going to have a training on the Pressbooks Network, how to create a book using Pressbooks. So the first thing you want to do is go to csi.pressbooks.pub, click sign in, enter your username, and it'll be taken to a landing page like this. I am the network manager, so I have a network admin and uh, Pressbooks network section of my landing page, but you will probably only have a My Books page. You can go to your catalog, create a new book, or clone an existing book, which is an option. You can take an existing book from somewhere else and copy it over to your space and then edit a few things and publish it as your own. We're going to first go to, however, create a book. Creating a new book means that you'll have a book in the csi.pressbooks.pub domain. Now, we can't change the domain, but we can, as you can see here, add different sections after the main site name. So if you wanted to do a book on agriculture, you would have one that says csi.pressbooks.pub slash agriculture. And you can have a book title like this. You can also change the book language. You additionally can have options to make the book published from the very beginning or not. I would recommend not having it visible to the public at the very beginning, but some people like to be open and transparent about their book creating process from the very beginning. And so if you wanted to have, you know, public input, public feedback to your textbook as you are writing your first edition, you can do that as well. We won't create a book, but that's the process you would go through if you wanted to go to that. And then once you did that, you would be either taken back to this page or you would be taken to the landing page, the dashboard, for your book. So here we have the landing page for cataloging with Mark RDA and classification systems, which is the book that I'm working on right now. From this page, you can edit book info, organize your book, change the theme or the appearance, although I wouldn't recommend that. I would recommend that this stays the same. You can manage users, get support from various resources, or import content from somewhere else. So let's look at the book info of the book. Title, we have the short title, which will be used in the PDF export if your title is too large, which mine might be, a subtitle. You have a section for the authors. I'm writing this book with David Horalik, so we have both of our names here. Editors, reviewers, contributors, all of those things are added in this section. We have the publisher, a publisher city, a publication date that will be added when it publishes, which will happen in a few days. You also have a cover image section. And you can see here, this is the cover image for the book. I would recommend having a professional looking cover image that is not the default Pressbooks cover image. You want to make sure that your book looks professional and that you are communicating that you know what you're talking about and that you have a high quality textbook or OER resource. Make sure you have also your author information and make sure that you have, we have the institution information and copyright information from the get-go. We have the copyright holder as College of Southern Idaho. If you've looked at my other trainings on OER resources and copyright, you know that there are a few options for Creative Commons open licenses. Basically any of these, except for all rights reserved and non-derivative Creative Commons licenses are available. We have attribution, attribution non-commercial, Attribution, non-commercial, share alike, attribution, share alike, Creative Commons Zero, and public domain. And these two are essentially the same, but there are some differences. So the next thing you would want to do is go to organize your textbook. And you can see here that you have you can add front matter, chapters, back matter, parts, and glossary. Parts are made up of one or more chapters. And a glossary has other terms that you have more definitions in this glossary section than you would put in your regular book. But I would recommend going and making parts or more general categories and then going into make specific chapters. There's also options to show particular sections or chapters in your exports that people can 
create, if you wanted to create a course catalog or a course cartridge or a PDF, you can choose to maybe you know, hide an H5P section if not everyone you think is going to use H5P or hide your acknowledgements or if a section is built for your specific course institution, you can hide that from exports and make the rest of the book available. So this is kind of the general overview of how to make the general parts of a book. In another training, I'll go into how to make specific parts and specific features of Pressbooks items. So thank you very much. I hope that you've enjoyed this training and contact me if you have any questions. Thank you.